Hi everyone, welcome to today's webinar on optical workflow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. In today's webinar, we're going to go over how to manually enter prescriptions in the patient's profile, how to create orders for optical only services. So we're going to do an order for glasses and an order for contact lenses. We're also going to go over how to take payments using the checkout modules for those orders that we create. And last but not least, we're going to go over how to use a delivery module when the patient comes to pick up to dispense their glasses or their contact lenses. So I'm going to go ahead and switch here to My Vision Express. And I'm going to use one of my test patients here. So I'm going to <clears throat> go into the patient's profile. And I'm going to use Giselle here. So the first thing we're going to go over is how to manually enter the prescriptions here into the Vision RX tab. Now, as you can see, uh, there are already some prescriptions here, and they are actually grayed out. And you might be asking yourself, well, why are they in gray? Uh, whenever a prescription expires or it gets discontinued, um, it will gray out automatically. So that's why they are in gray. So basically here, our patient doesn't have any current prescriptions. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add a current prescription by using these three buttons over here on the right-hand side under Add New Rx. This is the one that we're going to use to add a prescription for the glasses. I'm going to do that one as an example first. Now what I want to do here in this window that we're seeing, small little window that comes up, is we're going to put all of the information that is on the patient's prescription, we're going to put it in here into this window. Okay, so I'm going to select my doctor. Okay, you're going to see that the ones that are in color here, these are actually my in-house doctors that I have set up. And it makes it a little easier for me to find them because I have assigned a color to them. And then everyone else underneath that list that does not have a color assigned to them are basically out of my, are all of my outside referring doctors. Um, if, let's say you're entering an outside prescription and it's not an in-house prescription um, and the doctor that you need is not on your list, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the ellipsis box to the right-hand side of that field. That's going to give you this list and there you can use the import feature or you can go ahead and manually add that doctor's information. All right, for our example, I am going to select my in-house doctor. My location is already defaulted for me to the location that I am currently logged into. My prescription date is defaulted to today's date. Uh, but let's say maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, my prescription wasn't written today. Maybe it was written on um, Tuesday. I can easily change that date. Now you're going to see that by default, I'm getting an expiry date of two years from the date of the prescription. Uh, if you needed to change this, you can. Uh, it is doing this because it is what I have already set up under my company setup to uh, automatically default to two years. But uh, if you need to change that, you can. So I can easily just type out there uh, the date of expiration. Now here under the usage, I can select from what I have here on the list or I can add a new value. Uh, so if maybe you're looking for something under the usage, uh, that it, you don't currently see, you can click on add new value, shortcut to the category where you can go ahead and add <clears throat> and edit that list. Okay, the type, well that's already selected for us because that's what we selected over here. We're entering a prescription for spectacle lenses or glasses. Now, the doctor didn't indicate what material or what lens style here, so I can um, either leave that blank, and actually, I apologize here. Uh, under lens style, sometimes some doctors indicate a specific, for example, type of progressive that they might want their patient to use. So if they wrote that on the prescription, go ahead and put that here under the lens style. Uh, sometimes a doctor might also already be giving you a PD. A majority of the time, they don't. So if it's not on the prescription, I would go ahead and just uh, leave that area in blank because when we get to our order, we'll be able to fill out, for example, the PD. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the PD in blank. Okay. Next down here, we have our uh, section to put in the prescription information. If there is a balance on your prescription, you want to just simply go ahead and check off that box. Okay. These are drop downs that appear when you click on the field. And uh, the green is going to uh, indicate your plus diopters and the mine, I'm sorry, the red, your minus diopters. So you'll see that uh, under sphere and under your sill. And uh, your axis is a drop down as well. Um, you can also just simply use your keyboard to type in that prescription if, if you don't want to go through that um, drop down list. So you can easily type using the numbers on your keyboard, okay? Uh, there is a shortcut here for OU prescriptions. Uh, you're gonna see the equals button here. That's kind of like a shortcut that you can use and that's gonna copy over that prescription for you, okay? And uh, one more thing that I wanted to show you here. <clears throat> Excuse my... Okay, so... If you get a prescription, let's say with a plus cylinder, you can go ahead and enter that plus sill here. And there is a nice feature here for transposing. So that is going to go ahead and reduce any errors as long as you enter that prescription in correctly. It will reduce any errors in your transposing. So it's a great thing to use. Um, here, you can go ahead and lock this information. If you lock the information that you entered, it can only be modified by an administrator. So it's going to give you this alert asking you if you're sure you want to continue. And then here you have the release option, meaning that you're going to uh, release a copy of this prescription and notice you're going to have a print option from in there. Okay. You also have a section for any notes. Maybe the doctor told you to take a seg height in a certain place, or maybe uh, they indicated a um, certain type of fitting or certain type of frame for this um, um, patient. Um, sometimes the doctors do that, um, especially with children or elderly patients. So uh, any notes that you want to put, you can go ahead and type them out here. I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and that's going to go ahead and add my prescription here under the Vision Rx tab. I'm going to scroll over, that way we can see the rest of that. Okay. I'm going to add one now for soft contact lenses. So I'm going to use the second option there to add my prescription. And some of the fields might already look familiar. Um, they work the same way as in the prescription we entered for the glasses. So my location, I'm going to select my doctor. I'm going to put in the date for my prescription. My expiry date for my contacts, I have it defaulted to expire at a year, as you can see. Um, you can indicate if there's a dominant eye here. Okay, and we're going to start over here with the right eye. Okay, um, I can not I cannot click here on these fields to put in manufacturer name or anything like that. To get that information into these fields, you're going to use these buttons here. So I'm going to start off with select OD. This is going to give me my list that I have set up for my contact lenses. And as you can see, this is a pretty long list. So to make things a little easier for me, I'm going to go ahead and use the filters that I have available at the top. I can see that my patient's prescription for their contacts is a minus two. So that's going to filter the list for me. But let's say I'm looking for a AccuView Oasis, which is a Vistacon lens. I can filter my list by manufacturer and make it easier for me to find what I am looking for. Okay, and you can switch. Okay, and you can enter as much information into this filter as you may need. Okay. So I'm going to say I'm looking for a uh, Pure Vision six pack here. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And it's giving me all of the configurations for that particular contact lens because I left this here in blank. OK, but if I go ahead and let's say put in, <clears throat> what did I say, a minus two, and I select that lens, then it's just going to show me that minus two option. Now, this particular contact lens comes in two base curves, so that, that is the other option that is showing up. So I have my minus two, but it comes in an 8.3 base curve and an 8.6 base curve. 
So it's asking me what base curve basically do I want to use. In this example, I'm going to say an 8.6 and I'm going to select it and it's going to fill that information into the window for me. Okay. I've also seen some cases where, and I'm just going to show you on the left eye instead of going here, uh, I've seen that you can go here and put in the filter for the prescription. And when you select OS, that's just going to be filled out for you already. Okay, so I entered in my prescription for my contact lenses. You have that released and lock option. My replacement schedule is already coming in from what I have set up for this particular Bausch & Lohm Pure Vision lens. If you needed to make any changes, you can. Sometimes, um, you know, it might be a bi-weekly lens, but the doctor might say they can wear it as a monthly lens. So you can make any changes if you needed to there. Also, some doctors uh, specify for the patient to use a specific type of solution or contact lens care. Notice that there is a list for that as well. And if the solution or the, the care that you're looking for is not on this list, um, you can add new value and add it to your list there. And you have a section for notes. So that is our contact lens prescription. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And um, I'm not going to enter one for hard contact lenses, but I am going to show you the parameters and what they look like in there. So you have the location, the doctor, the day of the prescription, the day of the expiration of the prescription. And then again, here you would select OD and select OS. Um, there's just additional parameters here, of course, for those specialty lenses. You have a lot more uh, information to put in. Um, I'm going to go ahead here. Oh, I actually do have an example. So I'm going to select my uh, option that I have here, as you can see. And then um, I don't have any configuration set up with this. This is a test database that I'm using. But you have an idea of how that is going to work. Okay. Uh, something very nice as well with your hard contact lenses, if there is a dot or a warranty on one of those lenses, you have those boxes here available. And then you have the same release and lock option, the replacement schedule, any specific contact lens care, and a section for notes. All right. So this one I'm not going to save. I just wanted you to take a look at that. What we're going to work with today is going to be this prescription for the glasses and this prescription for the contacts. So we went over on how to manually add the prescriptions here into the patient's profile. The next thing that we're going to go over, and I'm just going to switch back to my slide. <clears throat> we're going to go over how to create your orders for glasses and for contacts. So the first one we're going to do is the one for the glasses. And we're going to do that right from within the same Vision RX tab that we have been in, okay? To do this, we're going to select our prescription and we're going to select Order from Rx. Order from Rx is going to recognize that we want to create an order for spectacle lenses, for glasses, with this prescription. And um, it's going to pick up all of this information and it's going to open up an order for this patient. Now, give me just one moment. I forgot an ad here. So I forgot something in my prescription. If you need to go back to your prescription and what you were entering, you can always highlight that prescription, double click, or highlight and modify. It's going to take you to the same place. And you can go ahead and make any uh, modifications that you may need to make. Okay, so in this particular case, I recognize, oh, yes, that is a progressive. I forgot to put in that ad. So I can easily go back and edit that. Now, again, if your prescription, if you locked it, you do need to be an admin in order to unlock it and edit that. All right. So I'm going to use order from Rx. This is going to bring in this prescription with this information here for this patient. It's going to start an order. And there we are. So at the top section here, we're going to see Giselle's information coming from the profile. We have the type of order as spectacle lenses with today's date. The doctor is already here, as well as my location. My prescription is already here. 
as well as the style, because I put the style navigator when I put in the prescription information. Okay. So let's bring in the frame into the order first. So I'm going to use a UPC field here. And I don't have a barcode scanner to scan a barcode. So I'm going to manually do this by clicking on the ellipsis button here and searching through my inventory for my frame. <clears throat> so there is my frame information that has come in from my inventory listing. Okay, the next section down here, I'm going to bring in what type of lenses I'm going to use for this patient. Okay, I'm going to use this UPC field here to select my lenses. So I'm going to uh, click on the ellipsis button again. I don't have anything to scan. And you're going to notice here that it's already filtering here for us. It's already recognizing that we want a navigator. If you needed to change this and they want a better lens, for example, I'm going to say we're going to sell them the upgrade of the progressive. So maybe I don't want a navigator and I want a different type of progressive. Then we can go ahead and do that and make that change here. So let's say I want a Barilux lens. I can change that. And let's say I want a uh, Barilux lens in a 167 high index. So notice I use the filters here, making it a little easier for me to find the particular uh, lenses that I want. Okay, I'm going to say I want this uh, Barilux Physio Enhanced, the 167 with transitions gray. Okay, that is going to bring all of this information for that lens into my order, for those lenses into my order. So I sell the pair for 540. And when I select those lenses, they're going to come into the order here, but they're going to come in as a right and a left. So it's going to take that 540 retail and it's going to divide it into half of it is going to apply to the right and the other half will apply to the left. Okay, so we have our frame and lenses into our order here. Now we need to put in what the seg height measurements were for this particular um, progressive. So I'm just going to kind of make this up here. And we need to put in our pupillary distance here. And you're going to notice that those fields were in red. So um, I put in the sag height. I'm going to go ahead and put in the PD. And uh, PD, if you take a monocular PD or binocular PD, you can put those in. So um, look at the fields. Um, very important for you to look at the fields. This is going to be the OD and then the OS and then OU for your uh, just distance prescription. So I'm just going to put in here... Um, a PD there and it calculated out for me. <clears throat> now you're also going to see that the style has changed from Navigator to Verilux. I have a material over here of 167 high index and I have the usage here as a progressive. Okay, so I've brought in my lenses into the order. If you needed to use the finishing center, uh, you can go ahead and uh, use the finishing center. Uh, you can also add here to the finishing center list. So if you don't like what it comes in with, which is the items that are in gray, uh, you can go ahead and add um, to that list. Okay, you have additional uh, fields that have become available over here in this section. Once I selected the lenses, it gave me these fields where I can put in any additional measurements I, ne I need to put in. So, for example, if you need to put in um, a panto tilt, um, a corridor length, those type of measurements, you're going to find them here on the list. And uh, use a scroll to go through that list. Okay, you have a section here for diameter, a bevel to indicate for a stock lens, and um, you have additional measurements over here. So your vertex, your um, decentration, all of those in those measurements are over here. Okay, uh, when I selected those lenses, another thing 
that came in um, was this options radio button is selected for me. Uh, so from this options list is where I have set up additional lens treatments such as anti-reflective coatings, mirror coatings, uh, if you need specific edging on your lenses, uh, polishes for example, you can select from your list, all you have to do is check off that box and it's going to go ahead and add that to your charges section. So as you can see I selected an edge treatment of a high luster edge polish and then added that there and I charged $20 for that and maybe if you need to add some anti-reflective coating. Uh, just simply find what you're looking for, check it off, and it will add it to your list there. Okay. Uh, maybe you're also selling a cleaning cloth or some cleaning solutions. You will find that here under miscellaneous. So maybe some cleaning supplies. I sold a spray and uh, I sold a cord as well. So you can build up your order. Once we've built up our order here, so we have frame lenses, lens treatments, and any additional miscellaneous add-ons of the cleaners or your cords, etc., you can go ahead and apply a discount. So you can apply a discount using a marketing code, and marketing codes do need to be previously set off. Um, set off, I'm sorry. Set up, I mean. And um, you can select your marketing code, and it will go ahead and discount for you. And as you can see, it is in red. So there's a 10% discount that I have set up through the marketing um, that I can use to apply a discount to an order. Uh, if you don't have any marketing codes set up, like the one that I have here, you can also use the discount button that you're going to find available in your order to discount either by a specific percent or by an amount. In our example today, I'm going to discount with my marketing code. Okay, down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and select the lab that I'm going to order my lenses from. I'm going to give my order a status, and right now I'm going to leave it at a status of open because I really haven't ordered it yet. I haven't taken any payment from my patient. I'm going to put in the date that I promised the glasses. I'm going to put in the tray number for Giselle here. And this is an alphanumeric field, so if you want to put numbers or letters or maybe you put the last name. However, you would like to use that field. And if you want to print out a label for your tray, there is a button here. Of course, you do need labels to put in your printer to print out onto. And uh, you can go ahead and select the printer, the label name, and print it from here. Some people just write them out. Some people like them nice and neat and print them out. So you have that there. Now, from here, I'm going to create an order for contact lenses because she's also uh, going to order some contact lenses. So I'm done here with my order for glasses. The next order that we're going to create is going to be an order for contact lenses. And I'm going to do that using the new same button inside of the order. Uh, this just makes things easier instead of you having to save this one and go back to the profile, look for the prescription and start an order. Uh, you can do that all from here. You're going to select new same. That is going to go ahead and save this order, order 2314, and it happens really quick, so you might have missed it, okay? But it saved the order that we did for the glasses, which is order 2314, and it's going to start a new order for us again, okay? So it's asking us, would we like to use the newest prescription to be filled to the order? Now, in this particular case, I'm going to say no because I'm not going to create another order for glasses, okay? So I'm going to say no, and I'm going to... I'm not going to select from here. I'm going to say close because I need to go here and change this. I want to make an order for contacts. So this is going to clear this order out when we say yes. It's going to ask me, do I want to use the newest prescription once again? Now I'm going to say yes. Okay. Now, the Bausch & Lohm Pure Vision 6-pack, I don't have those contact lenses in my physical inventory. I don't stock them. So the system recognizes that I don't have them. It's saying my on hand is zero. So I'm going to say that I need to order those. Same thing for the left eye. Okay, so here the uh, window has completely changed. This is an order for contact lenses now. My prescription for the contact lenses have, has come in here as well as the information for the contact lens. The source 
is going to say that I'm going to order them because I don't have them. And here you're going to see the uh, contact lens care and the replacement schedule that we entered when we put in the prescription. Okay, I'm going to put in how many uh, quantity of boxes I want for the right. So I'll put in maybe I want two for the right and two for the left. Notice I have some nice pictures that came up for those contact lenses. I have a section for notes, internal notes. And in the charges sections, I already have my contact lenses there, okay? Um, any miscellaneous items you may need to add to this order, you're going to find them over here. So maybe if you guys sell like solutions for the contact lenses, or maybe the patient tells you, hey, I want you to um, ship out my contact lenses um, I'm going to come pick up my glasses, but I need you to ship out my contact lenses. Or if you ever have a scenario where you need to even ship out both, you're going to find this also on your order for glasses. I just like to show it here on the order for contacts. Um, you can have shipping charges selected here, uh, set up here, and you can select from them. And then uh, you can go ahead and select your ship to button down here at the bottom, saying that you're going to ship them to, let's say, the patient's primary address on file. Okay, um, over here, you can also set up methods through your categories. So let's say if I ship them ground method, uh, you can set up a charge to that particular method. As you can see, it's charging the patient $10 automatically. So I have it set up through there, and I also have it set up over here. So I have both examples. Okay. So it automatically selected that one for me. And you're going to see here in this section too, it's going to show where it's going to ship to. So I'm just going to kind of clear that <clears throat> and just go back to the order. They're going to come and pick them up. So I'm going to delete that. So here is our order for contact lenses. Again, if you wanted to apply um, a marketing code or a discount, you have your marketing codes uh, set up there, or you want a discount. So in this example, I'm going, instead of using a marketing code, I'm going to show you the discount button. So maybe I want to give um, $10 off or 10%, let's say, 10% off the order. I can say the reason. So I'm just going to say it's because it's a new patient. And I'll say, okay, and it will discount my order by 10%. Now, you can see that discount if you scroll over down at the bottom. You're going to see a scroll here in the charges section. Scroll over. You're going to see a discount column so you can see what has been discounted. Okay. Again, over here, your lab. Mine is already defaulted to ABB. That's where I order my contacts from. My promise date, my status of my order, my tray number. And we are done here with our contact lens order. So we've entered prescriptions manually. We've created two orders, one for glasses, one for contacts. And now we're going to go over how to take the payments using the checkout module. Now in the checkout module, I'm going to be able to take payment for both of the orders that I created. So let's go back into My Vision Express and see how we can do that. So I'm back here at the order that we just did for contact lenses. Now, I'm not going to select New Same because I am done creating my orders. What I'm going to select now is the Payments button on the bottom right-hand corner. The Payments button is going to save my order. So if you guys want to look here really quick, because it's going to happen very fast. It's going to save this order. It's going to give it an order number when I click on payments. So order 2315, it saves it. Uh, it's going to open up the checkout module for me. And I'm going to, okay, there it is. It's nice and big. And it's going to bring that order for the contact lenses into the checkout module. So you can see that I have order 2315 here for those contact lenses. And all of the information that is coming into the checkout module is coming right from the order. So if there is a mistake, you need to go back to the order. You're going to go 
to this yellow folder shortcut. It's going to take you back to the order and you can make any changes you may need to. So maybe if your patient tells you, hey, I don't want two boxes for each eye, I want three boxes. I can go ahead and change that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna say yes to save the changes. And it's gonna take me right back to the checkout module. Okay, so I have those changes come into the checkout module again. That is using the little yellow folder icon, that is a shortcut to go back to the order. Now I need to add the other order here to the checkout, uh, the other order for the glasses that we did for Giselle. So to add the other order into the checkout, you're going to use this button here called add orders. I'm going to be able to easily find the order because I made that order today here under my history section. So there is my order for the glasses for Giselle. I will go ahead and select it and it will add it into the checkout for me. Okay, here is my marketing code. If you needed to change the marketing code or maybe you even forgot to apply the marketing code to an order, there's a shortcut here, the dollar sign that you see in green. If you click on it, it's going to show you uh, the marketing code shortcut. This here, uh, the icon with an I and like a little box behind it. This is for your order status. So if you need to change it, we're gonna go and change it after we take our payment. Or maybe you forgot to um, give it a status, then uh, you can go ahead and do that through here, through this shortcut. Uh, the big red X that you see, it says delete. Um, it doesn't delete your order. Uh, what it does, it deletes the order from the checkout module. So if I select that, it's going to ask me if I want to remove the order from the checkout record, okay? In this particular case, I'm going to say no because I want to show you guys how to take these payments, but I wanted to show you the shortcut there, okay? So I have my two orders, for uh, my two orders in the checkout for glasses and contacts, and um, I'm going to go ahead and take a payment. So my total for the two orders is $1,282.41. Down here at the bottom is where we're going to add the payments, okay? We're going to select Add Payment, and here you can take multiple payments. So if, let's say, maybe your patient pays you um, part um, cash and maybe the other part on their credit card, you can do that through this checkout payment window. So you're going to see under the payment amount, it's going to give me my total of $1,282.41. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and change that because my patient is going to give me $500 cash. So I'm going to put that in first. It's going to allocate those $500 down here at the bottom. As you can see, it automatically allocated for me. If you wanted to change the way that the system allocates the amount, you can easily click on that amount and make any changes you may need to. So let's say I don't want it to allocate all the $500 to order 2314. I want it to allocate $250 to this order and another $250 to this other order here. So you will see the allocation at the bottom. It automatically allocates for you, but you can change it. I'm going to say OK. And it's going to go ahead and add that payment down here to the checkout payment section. This um, yellow folder here is going to allow you to go back and modify the information. Notice you cannot modify the amount. So um, here basically you would probably be modifying, let's say maybe you put in the wrong payment method. You can go ahead and modify that payment method. But if you put in the wrong payment amount, uh, that is going to be grayed out. So what you would have to do in that particular scenario is to remove the payment and add the payment again. Okay. And here you're going to see the details of the payment that you took and the details of how it allocated to each one of the orders. So to take additional payments, all you have to do is repeat what you just saw. Click on Add Payment, put in how much they're paying, select the payment method, and it will allocate for you. If you needed to change the allocation, just click on that amount. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to just say OK. I, I'm OK with how it allocated, and I've taken two, pay, two different payments. So you can keep doing this if they're paying with three different credit cards. That's great. As long as you take the payment and the payment goes through, 
um, we have the capability here of taking uh, multiple payments. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and print out a receipt for our patient. I can do that here by clicking on the receipt button. And I'm going to have the option to select patient receipt. And I can print both of those orders on one receipt, which will look like this, just to kind of uh, give you a glance of that. There it is. Took a little bit for it to come up. But there is what my receipt looks like with both orders on there. Okay. So you're going to see the orders here. Now, um, I apologize. You're seeing my receipt in English. I mean, not in English. You're seeing my receipt in Spanish. And I'm going to show you actually why. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this one moment. And if we go to the um, profile here, her preferred language is set up to Spanish. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that here really quick. And... Um, Go back to our checkout, and let me see if that's going to kick in right away. Let me go back to the receipt. Let's do a preview. And there is my receipt in English. <clears throat> okay. Uh, if you wanted to print that out on separate, two separate receipts, all you have to do is just unselect the box and print out one at a time. So I'll just show you a preview here. This is the one for the glasses. As you can see, the discounts are going to show up here as well. So I discounted using a 10% marketing code that I had set up. And uh, you'll see all of the information for the payment that you took um, and any open balance on that particular order. In that same receipt button, you can also go ahead and print out a lab copy or some like to call it a tray copy um, for your tray. So I'll show you a preview of that. Um, and the reason why I'm doing it this way, you can definitely print them together. You, you have that option here with this box. Um, but I'm just showing you previews. I'm not printing anything out. So for preview purposes, I show you uh, in one by one like this. So uh, here is a tray. Um, copy or the lab copy that you can put in your tray, which is going to give you all of the information for your patient. You can see that here. And you can see that over here. You're going to have the order number, order 2314. All of this information under item description is going to be broken down on the right hand side of this page. So you'll have the patient, the frame information, the lenses information, so they're 167 lenses, progressive Varilux Physio Enhanced with transitions gray, um, all of the prescription information, my PD information, my seg height, all of that information, all of those measurements, what lab I'm going to order it from, what lens treatments are going to go on those lenses, all of that is coming from the order. Okay. Also, I can see what balance my patient owes me for that order. So if I print this out and I put it in my um, lab uh, tray, um, I can also use this not only to just um, inspect the job when it comes back from the lab, but I would actually keep it with um, the job. And when my patient comes to pick it up, I can easily see, well, you have a balance due. And I can easily find the order number as well. And that's where we're going to go to next, which is going to be um, dispensing using delivery module to dispense the glasses to your patient, glasses or contacts. So the delivery module is found here in this drop down, the little delivery truck. And I'm going to just simply click on that. And I can go ahead and put in the order number for. Uh, the order they're coming to pick up. Now, if you print it out that tray copy, it's going to be really easy to find the, the order number because it's on there. So I know it's order two, uh, 2314, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select the delivery icon here, or I can, I can say deliver. And it's going to recognize that this particular order has an open balance of $354.41. And it's going to ask me if I want to go to the checkout to uh, collect that balance. I'm definitely going to say yes. 
it's going to open up the checkout module for me with that order already in there. Now, at this particular point, your patient might also have already told you that they're coming to pick up their contacts as well. So if you needed to um, also dispense an additional order, you can go ahead and add that order to this checkout. Just like we did before, I'm going to click on Add Orders. I know that it is order number 2315 for the contact lenses, and I added that here. So they're going to pay me $482.41, which is the remaining balance for both of my orders. So I can go ahead and take a payment here. I'm going to take a full payment amount. I'm just going to say that they're going to pay me on a MasterCard. It's going to make that a balance of zero. I can also change my status from here and I say that I delivered it or dispensed. It's going to say who delivered it. So that's who I'm logged in under um, because this is just a training, like a, a demo. So um, what you're going to see here is basically your name, uh, whoever's logged in. Okay, so I can do that right from here. I'm going to say that I dispensed it. They picked it up. And I can go ahead and print out my patient a receipt that will have that zero balance. Oops. So there you are. I'm going to go ahead and save and close this. So we've gone over um, the workflow here for the optical only. I'm going to go ahead and change the slide here. I want to thank you today for joining us on the webinar. I just want to let you know that you can find additional knowledge-based videos and articles over on our support website. So if you go to support.myvisionexpress.com, you'll be able to find that there. And then down at the bottom, if you need to ever contact support, you can uh, just send them an email, support at myvisionexpress.com, or you can reach them at extension 3.